to infinity and beyond. Good morning and welcome to Whenever You Are. I am Bandit Hayes and today I'm going to be talking about Star Trek Beyond. It came out a few days ago. I just saw it. Should you see it? Well, let's talk about that, shall we? Now, first of all, let me tell you the story in a very basic, non-spoiler fashion. Stuff happens. More stuff happens. Further stuff happens. The end. Now with just a little bit more detail. So the crew are trying to make a peace offering to a race of alien lizard monkey things and they're offering a war artifact which to them was of no value. But as it turns out, the artifact which to them was of no importance to someone else was of the utmost importance and now they have to prevent that guy from having it. Kind of like how girls only like you when someone else likes you. And you know, he's the bad guy and that sort of stuff. But anyway, overall, I thought it was a pretty good movie. It's not a must-see movie. It's not something I thought was absolutely brilliant, but it's a pretty good movie. And it's definitely something that's worthwhile seeing in the cinema. I don't think you need to rush out and see it in the cinema if you want to wait till it's on DVD or whatever. I think that's totally fine with this film. But it is still a worthwhile film to watch in the cinema. Most of the action sequences I thought were done really well. The humor was done really well also. It felt natural to the characters and the situations they were in. It was done enough so that it's a fun film throughout, but not so much that you just couldn't take the film seriously, so it was quite a nice balance. Most of the acting, especially from the main cast, I thought was pretty spot on, and Sulu is now gay, so if you don't like this movie, you're a homophobe. Now, there were a few things that stood out in an awkward way for me. As I said, most of the action sequences I thought were done really well, but there was one in particular that looked like they ran out of money for the special effects. The makeup of most of the aliens looks cheap and awkward. It looked like something that belonged on Star Trek Next Generation, which would have been fine back in the 90s, but by now, it just looked like they were humans wearing makeup, which of course is what they were, but... You know, that's what it looks like. It shouldn't look like that. You compare it to Star Wars and the makeup on the aliens there was spot on. This, however, it just looked, hmm. But perhaps the biggest disappointment is the fact that this film is directed by Justin Lin and at no point is there any illegal spaceship racing. To be fair, they do have a pretty cool chase scene, but there's no close-ups of anybody doing gear shifts, so it's like, what was the point? But anyway, let's talk a little bit now about Gay Sulu because that caused a little bit of a brouhaha over the last few weeks. So it was announced a little while ago that in this Star Trek, Sulu will be revealed as a gay character to which George Takai, who plays Sulu in the original series, and is gay in real life, said, Oh no, you didn't. To which co-writer Simon Pegg replied, Oh yes, we did. Now here's the thing, when it comes to making these major changes to pre-established characters, whether that's sexual orientation, race, ethnicity, gender, or key character traits, I would always prefer that they make new characters rather than change the old characters because I think that has a much better long-term outcome. Now that being said, I'm not totally against the idea of changing older characters. There are times where it works really well, where they could bring something really new and cool and interesting to the role that then becomes the new standard. Now in the case of Star Trek Beyond, after watching the movie, it really feels like all the talk and all the noise preceding it was somewhat unwarranted because the gay reveal scene I'm not even sure you can call it a gay reveal. I mean, it's so understated that had they not announced that he was supposed to be gay in this movie, you might just think, you know, that was his older brother or something. Now, don't get me wrong. I wouldn't put my arm around any of my brothers. I would much rather punch them in the face than give them a hug. But I recognize that some other families, you know, brothers do that sort of stuff. They hug each other and, and whatever. In fact, I've even heard about some families where brothers give each other flowers. And I, that, that shit's just weird to me. I would not give any of my brothers flowers. Like, I'm the only flower I would ever give any of my brothers is self-raising flower when I tell them to bake me a cake. And if they don't, I'll punch them in the face. That's my family. But other normal families do that sort of stuff. So what I'm saying is that had they not said it was supposed to be a gay reveal, you might think they're just related. Now, to be fair, I'm not a long time Star Trek fan and I'm not a homosexual. So this change was never going to mean that much to me anyway. But I could certainly understand why long time fans might be a little bit upset by this because it's a change, a major change to a character that you've grown up with and isn't really that necessary. And the arguments for the change really seem kind of weak because a lot of it was done to honor George Takai and he's the main guy saying, I don't want it. So how can you honor someone by ignoring their express wishes and deciding, I know better. 
don't make no kind of sense. Anyway, the one thing I think we can say with an almost certainty is the people at Captain America are probably taking notes right now. And that is what I think of Star Trek Beyond and Gay Sulu. What do you think? Boldly going where no man has gone before or enough man have been there already, you get me blood. Let me know down below and if you liked this video, give it a like and share it amongst your friends. If you did not like it, then give it a dislike and share it amongst your enemies. Either way, let me know your reasons in the comments. Subscribe if you have not already. Thank you for watching and until whenever, if ever. How many gay men does it take to change a light bulb? One, because sexual orientation has no bearing on your ability to change light bulbs. Kind of obvious really, isn't it? Bottom line is that it's just not a very good trailer and as I said, that doesn't necessarily mean that it's not going to be a good movie. It is a Zack Snyder film, so I'm not gonna hold my breath on that one, but 